Okay, guys, we are back in Hunter Call of the Wild, and I am on some weird random side mission. Like, some ghost jackal demon hunting down some guy who wants to write an article about this place, and he, the guy came here and got, like, hyped up on some weird fungus that he dug out of, like, buffalo poop or something. Yeah, and then I was tracking that guy across that bridge, fell down right there, where that broken part is, passed out for a bit, woke up and now I'm heading into a the ghost supposedly the ghost jackal's den. Yeah, this is sounds like a wonderful idea. Oh my gosh. Oh that's just springbok. If I get eaten just just know that it was for the the people my subscribers. What is that? A hunter with a pure heart like yours should not fear Whoa. the dead. You will be protected by your integrity, guarded by Legendary? your ancestors, even as you journey into darkness. Am I supposed to kill that? I'm tempted to shoot at it, but will it freaking destroy me? Is it really a freaking ghost? Is it gonna like possess and take over my body? Where's my dog? He's too scared. He didn't want to come up here. What the... This is weird. Obviously, it went this way, but I kind of want to go explore the other area, too. It's a big freaking cage. Ghost Jackal, where are you? Shut. Oh, there he There's my dog. Sup, dude? He just, like, teleported to me, dude. My dude. This is where zombies just start crawling out of the ceiling and the walls. Brains. I'd have to sacrifice Roscoe. Lies, I'd never sacrifice Roscoe. Ooh. Glowy orb area. Ooh. So you can take me to the fountain of youth. Some slurpy slurp funky water. Okay, grandpa, okay. Whoa! Oh, those little butt monkeys? I want to take a picture of the ghost jackals. I want to explore down there too. Ew. Well, that's a pit of death. That's where that uh, weird demonic worm thing off of uh, Star Wars lives. The weird Sarlacc pit. Dang. Where is this just gonna take me to the top of the freaking mountain? That's what I feel like it's gonna do. 
Get our 223 out. If I'm able to harvest these so-called uh, ghost jackals, Yeah, you you created the curse, and now I'm the one who has to lift it. This is like a episode of freaking Supernatural, man. What is this crap? Don't fall down there. It would hurt. Dang, this is like trekking simulator. My calves are on fire. Can't feel my legs. Where's that go? Not really anywhere. Are we gonna find what's his McBucket up here? Is he just gonna be up here like meditating? Are we going to find this corpse? Ah, oh, man. What is that? It's the skull of something. Am I going to pick it up and it's going to be a trap and something's going to pop out from the ceiling and eat my face. Was that? Is that your sibling signal? Grandchild, is that you? I don't know. Praise the ancestors, I was right. You really are a hunter with noy blood. What? Now you believe me. You know the ghost jackal is real because you've seen it. And you have an opportunity to help me make things right. There is a tree that only appears in the moonlight. Find it. That's where you must this tree? bury the jackal's skull. And offer praise and respect to the dead on behalf of your grandfather. Oh. Do I not? Can I not take these jackals out? I mean, I, I know technically they're ghosts, but that'd be pretty sweet. Just, just punch it into the dirt. <laughs> it just rained. It's muddy and squishy enough. I could do it. The dead do not disappear. They live on through us. I kind of agree. It's just like those who have passed the dead on are always continue to live through your us. memories. That's kind of creepy. The dead are always watching us. So we always have a chance to be redeemed in their eyes. You know that slight little chill? Or when your toe starts to for no reason, then nibbling on it. It's a new day, grandchild, for both of us. While your brother thinks a medic should check you for signs of mushroom poisoning, I think you have finally lifted the curse on I didn't eat no funky mushrooms, dude. I carried this weight like a boulder on my heart for decades. Now, it's gone. I feel five years younger. No, ten years. What 
Wow. I don't know what to think. That was a weird mission. I wish I would have been able but to harvest. I call you here cattle. so I could retire, and there's no taking that back. Obviously, the job is yours. So, congratulations, Senior Warden. Now you get to deal with your brother and his hoo tubers no! and his spiritual. I don't want to be a babysitter. Congratulations. And do you know what else you get as Senior Warden? Can you guess? It's more work, and you can't do oh, it alone. Oh, yeah. That's why I've called in a specialist and a team to handle that task. Veteran Wilderness Guide, Dr. Dana Maritz. Mm. Dr. Dana is an acquired taste. To her, there's a wrong way, and then there's her way. Oh, no, now not one of these people. Senior Warden, I guarantee she's going to test you. To find out which way you do things. I do things my way. I'm she senior She can be lady. overly authoritative. But if you pay attention, Dr. Dana will teach you some things. She's not always right, but she's the real deal when it comes to hunting and skill shooting. That's why weapons manufacturers put her on the payroll to sell their products. Now, don't let Dr. Dana occupy all of your time. You have official warden's work to do there in Vopaladiamba. The that was a funky the word. The scrub hair population is out of control, and it's starting to affect the living jackals that call this plateau home. Your work in this region will focus on restoring balance by applying different pressures to the animals. So he wants me basically in murder. addition, you still have exploring to do in Walanga, the northern reserve. Plenty of work to do up there. The river up Oh my in gosh, this dude never stops free, talking. Making it a safe haven for keep buffalo. A dangerously large herd has congregated there. You need to disperse it. And that will be tricky. That will be Take fun. Take the time to prepare before you tackle that one. Now, even though I oh am my officially gosh. retiring and you he are officially ends. the senior warden who runs Varonga Savannah, I'm not going to leave my radio post. For as long as you'll have me, it will be my pleasure to continue to offer you guidance whenever I can. Yeah, because who wouldn't There's want a crazy I old guy speaking to his ear 24 7? For me. Now, when I die, the ancestors will receive me with pride. Despite the mistakes I've made, all because my grandchildren have made our family so me, proud. Me, grandchild. Yes, even your brother. He knows I'm proud of him too. He didn't do nothing. He Next didn't hike up this mountain. He didn't do it. Ghost actors. We'll bring my home brew. We'll sing songs and share memories with our ancestors. We'll celebrate the new senior warden. Because the dead are always watching us in our sorrows and today in our joys. Howie, howie, howie. Okay, grandchild. Oh my gosh. Yes, I know I should address you as the senior warden. But yeah, not the grandchild. Grandchild to me. Okay? Now, enough babbling from old Njabolo. You're in charge. What you do next is up to you. Is he really finished? For reals? He finally finished his six year long spiel? Holy crap. Anyways, wow. That mission was long. And it, the old, member, old man's ramblings were even longer. But, uh,. I still love this game, but uh, certain moments uh, drag out a bit, so uh, just hang in there. Catch you guys on the next one. Take care now.